Dickens Brood. that Mama and Papa have seen the studios of the Excello Pictures Corporation, they have been initiated into Hollywood. And it was very interesting, especially when they discovered that Sidney and Harold had in some way got into a picture that was being made. Well, everything has been explained, and right now we're going to listen to Sidney and Harold as they engage in a very mysterious conversation. Sure, Harold, it's just the thing. Yeah, but do you think Paul will go for it? I think he will. You know, we sold him on the uniform business. We got him to retire when we got him a good price for the factory. Now, whoa, and whoa, it was Ma who got that price. Yeah, I know, but we started the ball rolling. Now, listen, you get a vet to talk to him, and I'll get Sally to do the same thing. They can usually get around him, and once they do it... Yeah, a... how about Ma? Ma is the swellest person in the world. Why, many's the time she talked Pa into doing something that even I couldn't make him see. Okay, we'll try it. Well, I'm a little doubtful whether we can make a go of it or not. It's new to us. Well, so is the uniform business, and we did all right. Why, with a little capital, we can really go places in a big way. Show Hollywood what real business is. Well, that sounds good to me. After all, one business is just like another. Only some of them are different. Sure, sure, that's right. Now, Pa and Ma should be here in a few minutes. We'll sort of feel around until we get the right opening. We'll tip the girls off and be all set. I've already hinted to Yvette. Yeah, what'd she say? Well, she liked the idea. The fact is, she was pretty hot about it. Well, so Sally. Okay. Now, all we have to do is work Pa around. If girls helping Ma on our side, we got nothing to worry Harold! about. Uh-oh. Harold! There's Yvette now. We'd better go on out there. Okay, now remember, we get Pa in a good humor, and then we go to work. Sure. Hey, Harold! Sydney! Coming, Yvette, coming! Well, Sally and I thought you were going to stay in there all night. Well, business, Yvette, business. Uh, where's Sally? Right here. Okay, now listen, kids. Harold and I have been talking over the idea we told you two about. The more I think about it, the more thrilled I get. Yes, but I... But what? Oh, this is different, Sidney. Pa might Oh, not... now you can make Pa see the point, can't you? Well, maybe Ma can. Sure, she can do it if anyone can. But I kind of hate to ask Pa about it, or even mention it. He's worked so long and hard that it, it just seems like cheating him out of what's rightfully his. The vacation, you mean? Uh-huh. He came all the way across the country to get a rest, and now we're talking about... Oh, now, Sally, he's like an old fire horse at the post. He'll love it as soon as he gets the smell of business smoke. Well, we ought to think about Ma, too. After all, this is as much her vacation as it is Pa's. And she's waited long enough for it, too. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. You two aren't backing down on me and Harold now, are you? No, but well, we ought to... Let's just wait and see how the suggestion hits Pa and Ma. We can tell by how they look and what they say. Well, that's good enough. And I'll bet my bottom dollar that when Pa hears the word business, he'll be right on his toes. Of course he will. He'll love it. And so we can all help, and Yvette and I can do something. Now, wait a minute. This is a business for smart heads, brains. You girls will have to stay out of it. But if we're going to help you talk Pa into it, we ought to be allowed to do something else. Now, listen. Movie business is no place for a woman. Why, there's a million and one things that... You know, the more I think about it, the more I think it's, it's wrong to try to get Pa into the movie business. Oh, not because of Pa. He loves to work, but... Well, I'm thinking of Ma. Hey, wait a minute. Yes, you you're can't... right, Sally. Ma's waited all these years. Why, remember when we were little kids and she used to wait for him to come home from the mm -hmm. shop? Well, she hardly saw him for even an hour every day. And now when they have a chance to be together, we're trying to talk them out of it. Well, how do you like this? Here we get it all set to go into the movie business. Well, practically all set, and you two get cold feet. Yeah. Well, it's not that, Sidney. Hey, I get it. I get it. You're taking after Ma, huh? 
Yeah, yeah. Now, look. We tell them they won't have a place in the movie business, so they turn around and pull the same trick Ma always plays on Pa. <laughs> Only Pa never catches off. Oh, if we want to have your support on this, we've got to let you have more than just a finger in the pie. Is that of it? Of course. It's too thrilling to be left out of. All right, all right. Now, you can do something. But remember, you've got to help us with Pa. Now, we'll have to do it carefully. We'll have to work around to it gradually. Now, either Pa or Ma will mention something about seeing the studios or, or something like that, and that's our cue. Yeah, no, no, no matter what he says about it, we jump in. That's the idea. Well, how about the other end of it? Getting into the business, I mean. Well, don't you worry about that, darling. Harold and I have that all figured out. You bet. And I don't think we'll have too much trouble with Pa. Just let him hear the word business and... Oh, uh, there they are now. Now, remember, let us bring up the subject. You girls just stand and support. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, oh, I yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, Harold, okay. yeah, it's now or never, Sid. Yeah. Maybe the girls were right. Yeah, but I... Oh, no, we got to be firm. We've got to... Uh, uh, stop. Yeah, quiet, quiet. Here they, here they come. Here they come. Uh, yeah. Hello, boys. Hi, Ma. Well, get a look at the new outfit. Oh, sure. Should I be on a vacation and dress like I'm in a laundry? <laughs> Not this year. Well, hello, Pa. How are you tonight? Hey, Sidney, I am fine. But right now, I'm going to sit down and take off my shoes. Head up, boy, Pa. Hey, hey, Sid, haven't you got a pair of slippers Pa can wear while he's here? Well, I should. Sidney... Poppy's going to keep his shoes on. Oh, but, Mama, I want to take off my shoes. Sixty-five miles I've walked today. Jake, 65 miles is halfway across the country. All right, so I'm back in New York then. <laughs> oh, come on, Ma. Be a sport. Let him be comfortable if he wants to be. Why, sure, Ma. He's among friends. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Jake, of course you're with friends. Who should be friends with you if your own flesh and bones ain't? I'll go get the slippers. And that chair's a good one, Pa. What? The chair? The slip. Oh, I'm being made too comfortable. There's something wrong. Jay, don't look at a horse's mouth. Mama, there ain't any horses anywhere. Never mind. I know what I mean. Well, aren't you going to tell us what you did all day? <laughs> to talk that long, I have to eat first. Well, <laughs> what did you do, Pa? Well, we, we visited places. We took a bus up one street and down the other, and still we don't know where we was. <laughs> Jay, you're just being funny. Of course we know where we visited. <laughs> we do, huh? <laughs> all right, Mama, you tell them about it. Well, uh, we saw some of the places where they make pictures. Did you see them making pictures again? No, we don't know. There was a man hollering for Papa to be quiet. Papa was eating peanuts by a microscope. <laughs> Microphone, Ma. Well, your Papa was making a terrible noise, and the man was very aggravated, so we left. Here are the slippers, Pa. Now you just sit back and relax. There, now. Just take it easy. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, what's the matter? Are you and Harold broke so soon? Broke? What do you mean? Uh, slippers and an easy chair I get as soon as I walk in the door. <laughs> you can't fool your old Papa. <laughs> I know it. There's something in the air. Oh, gee, Pa, do we have to want something to be nice to you? Well, I don't know, Sidney. Always it turns out that way, but, uh, well, <laughs> we're not in business anymore. No more uniforms, no more fancy offices, no more dictaphone buzzing in my ears, so <laughs> I guess maybe you don't want anything. Mm, that's right, Papa. <sighs> you know, it's nice to be on a vacation that won't ever be hobby. Well, I... Uh... Yes, it, it is nice. Are you comfortable enough, Pa? <laughs> I am happy. So am I. And such things we saw today. Yeah, we saw everything. The movie business is a fine business. I wonder what the profits are. The profits? Why, they run way up. Yeah, I'll say. Why, one good picture can put you in the black for a long time. And with smart men behind a good company, there's no telling what you might do. It must be wonderful. Wouldn't you like it, Pa? Oh, it would be thrilling. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. One little question I ask myself, and I get a hundred answers. <laughs> Your Papa was talking a long time with the man who owned the company. Papa learned a lot. What did you learn, Papa? <laughs> well, I... Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> nothing much. <laughs> say, Pa, uh... Uh, Harold and I have something we'd like to ask you. Not now, Sidney. We are very tired. And tomorrow we're going to get tired all over again. So this evening we'll take a little rest, eh? What's doing tomorrow, Ma? Look, darling, I want that you should all know something. Today your pop and me, we went out alone. That ain't right. It's like I'm always saying a family is a family, whether you are in Hollywood or New York. A family should be together because that's the only time a family can be one. So we are going to go out together sometimes. Just because we're on a vacation, it shouldn't mean that we're going to take a vacation from each other. Of course not. Uh, we wouldn't think of going off alone, Ma. Certainly not. Say, uh, Pa, have you, um, have you decided what you're going to do out here? Do? <laughs> sure, I'm taking a vacation. That gives me plenty to do. Papa, wait, uh, Harold, uh, what did you mean by that? Well, nothing but, uh, well... After, let's say, two months, maybe Pa will get restless. Restless? Why should I? <laughs> the only thing that ever made me restless was uniforms and dictaphones. Yeah, but there's Harold and I. There was always you and Harold. Could I forget? Let Sidney talk, Pa. Let him talk. <laughs> yeah, you should know that when Sidney starts to talk, nothing can stop him. Wait a minute. Uh, 
Excuse me, Aunt Carol. Yes, yes Ma? Uh, it's too long I've been a mother not to know when there's uh, something going up. <laughs> boys to make Papa comfortable. Well, maybe that's all right because you're nice boys and you should want to see your Papa very happy. So I'm saying nothing about that. But um, all of a sudden you're starting to talk about Papa getting restless. You're starting to talk about business. You ain't uh, bought uniforms out here in Hollywood, huh? Oh, no, Ma, nothing like that. Sydney, I... I guess you better get it off your chest. So you get so cold out here. What are you doing for it, Sydney? Oh, no, Ma. Sally meant that Sydney and Harold should say what they're going to. Mama, where did you put my hat? Jake, you're not in a synagogue that you should want your hat. I'm with Sydney and Harold, and they're starting to talk about something, and anything they start to talk about will cost me money. So I want that my hat should be handy. Go ahead, Sydney. Take it off your chest. Well... You remember the other day when we ran into those movie Indians? Could I forget? I thought it was going to be a massage. Massacre, Ma. It was very terrible, and I want to forget it. Mommy, you should stop butting in on Sidney. He's coming to something that I should want to hear and torture myself because I'm hearing it. All right, all right, Jake. I'm making no more intermissions. Interruptions. Interruptions, I know. <laughs> Sometimes I think of the right words after I said the wrong thing. Mama, would you please let Sidney go ahead? Go ahead, Sidney, before Papa falls off from the chair. Well... As I said, we saw those movie Indians, and Harold and I got to wondering, what's the movie business like? How much is there in it? That's always a good question. Well, <laughs> did you answer it? Should he be talking to himself, Jake? When you ask a question like that, you should answer it yourself. Go ahead, Sidney. Well, the idea was this. Why, well, I mean, pretty soon you're going to get restless. You're not going to like just sitting around doing nothing. So, well, why not invest in some business out here? Some business that Harold and I could handle until you felt rested enough to tackle it with us. Sure, Pa. Sid and I could take care of all the details. Mm hmm So, Mama, what did I tell you? I get slippers and an easy chair so I could be talked into something. Oh, gee, Pa. Sidney and Harold are young. They have to they be doing a big success of it. We know it, Pa. They are on a vacation. But you can still be on one. Sidney and Harold... Just a minute, just a minute, please. Too fast you're going. I ain't said no. Pa, oh, what a great guy. And I ain't said yes. Oh, oh. Pa. Now be quiet a minute. Be quiet. <laughs> to see you ambitious, that I like. But maybe you're coming with it a little bit too late. Today, today, while I was talking to the man, I did a little business. Jake, you said Just that a you minute, couldn't... Mama. I couldn't help it. <laughs> I only bought a little interest in the movie company. Very cheap. Mm -hmm.